Here's a problem similar to one of our homework problems. It says uh, that a genetics institute conducted a trial for X-sort methods designed to increase the probability of conceiving a girl. So in the particular trial, there were 945 babies born to parents and 879 of them were girls. They want us to use a 0.01 significance level to test the claim that the X-sort method is effective in increasing the likelihood that you will get a baby girl. So the claim seems to be this statement. The X-sort method is effective in increasing the likelihood that a baby will be a girl. So now the question is, how can we translate that into math? It looks like the claim can be translated into math by saying that the likelihood of having a girl is 50%, and so we want to increase the likelihood. So it looks like our proportion should be bigger than 50%. The opposite of the claim would be less than or equal to. saying that the proportion is less than or equal to 50%. And so now we can decide which of these two will end up being our null and all alternative hypothesis. So our null hypothesis will be the one with a condition of equality. You can also say P is equal to 50% or 0.5. And then your null hypothesis, your alternative hypothesis will be the greater than symbol. And we can note that this was, in fact, our original claim. From here, we identify our significance level. Alpha is 0 0.01. And then we decide on which distribution we're going to use. We're going to use a Z distribution. And in fact, uh, we have a formula that we can use. Z is equal to the square root of p hat q hat divided by n. Um, but we can also use a calculator, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, it's the one prop. Z test. Okay, so in doing so, we're going to need to identify our X and our N. So it looks like there are 879 successes. So that will be our X out of a total of 945 babies. So this is our x and our n. Now we can find p hat, q hat, and get our critical or get our test statistic here, or we can just punch it into our calculator. Let's go to our calculators. Let's hit stat and go to test. And the one prop z test is the fifth one. Our given proportion is 0.5. Our hypothesized proportion. Our x is 879, our N is 945, and then we need to choose which one, uh, oh, which tail we're playing with here. We are looking at our alternative hypothesis symbol, and that's a greater than symbol. So we go there where it's blinking, we click enter until it's highlighted. So we know that we're doing the right tail. And then we press calculate. Now our results give us, with our one prop Z test, we got our test statistic. 
is z is equal to 26.4468. And that's quite high. Uh, and our p-value, now let's call this p-v instead of p because p's are proportion. Um, in this case, our p-value is, it's not exactly zero, but it's really, really close to zero. So let's put zero plus to say that that is clearly less than alpha. Oops. <clears throat> so um, the other value that's given here is uh, 879 divided by 945. That's p hat, and that's given as 0.93. So we can put that down if we want. Our p hat is equal to 879 over 945, which is equal to uh, 0 0.93. Let's just put that. Okay, so from here we did our test. Now we make our conclusion. We can say uh, since our p-value is less than alpha, and uh, again our p-value is really, really close to zero, that's less than 0 0.01, uh, we reject the null hypothesis. Now that we reject the null hypothesis, we can um, make our conclusion. Uh, first, we ask ourselves if our original claim contains a condition of equality, and we see that it does not. And then we, in fact, rejected the null hypothesis so that we can say we actually support the claim. So we can type that up and use the exact same words that's used here. Support the claim that, and then we just say word for word what they have up there. The X sort method is effective in increasing the likelihood that a baby will be a girl. So this is our conclusion in non-technical terms. Okay, hope that helps.